Hey, what is going on guys? It's Connor here from Menu Dogs, and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today's video, we're going to be looking at a shuffle command. Now, as you can see right here, we have the basic construct of our command right here. And basically, you just have to have the name property, description, accessible by, and category in here. Now, to get into the command itself, we're going to obviously write our code inside the run function here. Now to start off with the basics, we're going to do cunt player equals and we're going to do bot.message.players.get I'm going to pass the message guild.id here. Now this is just obviously to get the player itself and we're going to check if the player doesn't exist or if there was no queue in the player. So we're just checking if there is no queue in the first slot of the array here. If not, hold up add that there and if not what we're going to do is we're just going to return a message and that message is just going to be a simple message saying no song currently uh currently playing in this guild and obviously you can alter this message in any way shape or form but next what we're going to do is we're going to go const and we're going to obviously deconstruct the uh guild member here and we're just going to grab the voice channel and then do message member here which is member obviously and then next, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do voice channel. And then we're going to have voice channel dot ID. Now we could possibly compare the two objects to each other, but we're just going to be safe and go for the voice channel IDs here and just compare those. And obviously, if there is an issue here, what we're going to do is we're going to return a message. We're going to say you need to be in a voice channel to shuffle music. And then we're going to add a semicolon on the end here. Now we're going to go down two more lines. Do player dot, sh uh, dot Q, sorry, dot shuffle. And then there's no need to pass any parameters here. But we're actually going to return here. Return a message stating the Q is now shuffled. Now, with the way that this is set up, it shuffles the Q. It also doesn't create a, another array, so it's impossible to, you know, unshuffle it. So once it's shuffled, you can shuffle it again and it will reshuffle, but there's no way in getting back to the original queue. You could extend Arella and do this yourself, which is completely acceptable. You can do this yourself, but in this tutorial and with the basis, the just the base of Arella, you can't do it. But obviously, the way that Arella is designed, you can extend and obviously change. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into Discord. But before that, we'll actually play the Oxide Hosting advertisement here. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Right, so now that we are up and running, what we want to do is we're going to play a song or two. So we're just going to play... We'll play some non-copyright sounds, obviously. Um, so we'll just we'll go through and do the first song. Play second song here as well, and then we will play. Um, we'll play the third. Song. What we'll do is we'll do a f we'll do up to four songs, and then we'll shuffle the queue. So we'll run the queue command here, so as you can see. The Q is, this is really loud on my end, turn that all the way down. So as you can see, we've got this song playing at the moment, plus the three extra ones. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to shuffle it here. And now that it's shuffled, we can bring it back up and we'll see that it's changed the songs that are in the queue around. And then if we do it again, it will reshuffle them. And sometimes, I mean, if you've got like not that many items in your queue, you'll probably be able to get back to the original way it was set up. But if you've got like 50, 60, you know, 100, 150 songs in the queue, obviously it's going to be pretty much impossible to get it back to what it originally was. But if you do extend Arella, you can do this. So um, obviously just check it out. Check out Arella. The package is in the description. The GitHub is open source, so you're able to go and check it out. And, you know, you'll be able to check out the code that is available in the stable version at the moment. Um, but obviously, because uh, Discord.js master has changed quite a bit, you know, now Arella doesn't necessarily support Discord.js master at this current point in time. So if you're using Discord.js stable, good on you, because master is a development branch and you shouldn't be using it for all projects, you know, just just for de development purposes. 
Anyways, guys, that is the video for today. Hope you have enjoyed. I know it was quite a short one. I know it's only 18 lines of code, and I'm pretty sure I already, what, 9 to 17. So I've only wrote, uh, well, no, actually, it's 9 to 6, so I've only wrote 7 lines of code. But anyways, guys, I hope you have enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.